today is another decluttering and organization video and I am nervous about this one. It is a very tall task. I am decluttering then organizing my treacherous looking pantry. And treacherous might not sound like the right word to describe a pantry, but it is so just overflowing that I'm legit getting scared as I'm rifling through things that something's gonna fall on my head. So I need to fix it and get it organized ASAP. I think the harder part of this organization and decluttering video is going to be the organization portion because I am going to try to make my pantry look like a celebrity pantry on my non-celebrity budget with nice bins and storage containers and I'm gonna just try to make it look as nice as possible in the end. But first, back to decluttering. I'm going to declutter this con my method style as I have been with all of my decluttering videos. If you are new to my channel, first, welcome. So glad you could join me when my house is looking a mess. And secondly, the KonMai method is inspired by the KonMari method. It is just the lazier, normal person, achievable version that I made up. And it's been working pretty well for me thus far, so I'm sticking with it. The first step of the KonMai method is identical to the KonMari method, and that is decluttering by category, which I have been doing, but we are at the miscellaneous or kimono portion of my home's decluttering journey, and I got a lot of miscellaneous miscellaneous stuff to work through. So what Marie says is if a category is too big, put it into little subcategories. And the subcategory of my pantry is going to just be a bear and take me all day as it is. So let's get started. Still following the KonMari method, I gotta move everything out of the pantry into one big pile. So I guess I will move it all onto or around my kitchen island. I hope I don't get hurt. <laughs> Okay, I am out of room here, so now I gotta start putting stuff on the table over there. I knew this was a hazard. Okay, right away, I can say that this is going to be donate. We have about a million plastic forks, knives, spoons from when we hosted picnics in the past, but I don't think we're gonna be hosting anything anytime soon, unfortunately. Now I have to clean everything out. I'm going to use this multi-surface antibacterial cleaner. I heard from a lot of you guys that in order for antibacterial cleaner to kill 99.9% .9 of bacteria, it has to sit for 10 minutes. So I'm going to spray everything down, let it sit, and then I'll come back to wiping it off with paper towels. I normally use microfiber cloths, but my sink is out of commission at the moment, so I'm just gonna wipe everything off with these. I probably shouldn't have been surprised, but I was actually surprised at just how grimy the pantry had gotten since it had been so long since I'd cleaned it out. So even if your pantry isn't as much of a disaster as mine, it's definitely worth clearing out so that you can clean it out properly. And then this is my new favorite cleaning tool. I absolutely love it. It is a spinning mop. It makes mopping so easy, especially for my pregnant mamas out there. Like mopping can be some hard work and this makes it so easy. Now everything is out. That was quite the process. So now we get to go to the Sparks Joy portion of the KonMari method, which I'm not really sure if she does Sparks Joy related thinking when it comes to food, but a lot of food does spark joy in me. But really we're moving into the KonMai method now because the things I am looking for as to whether or not I'm going to keep something is, is my family or I like, are we even going to eat it? If we're not, what's the point of keeping it? I feel like there's a lot of items here that that once upon a time when we got it, we had full intentions of eating it, but since that purchase, 
we've kind of changed our eating habits and we're eating healthier or healthy-ish now. And some of these items just don't fit into our current diet plan goals, what have you. So those will go into the donate pile. And the other thing that I'm looking for is like, is it expired? I have a feeling an unfortunate amount is going into these expired bags. I wish I could eat these, but they do not fit into my current diet plan. I don't see an expiration date. Oh, expired a long time ago. No longer in my diet plan either. This doesn't really fit in my diet plan either. <laughs> Hasn't since college. I make chili a lot and when COVID was first like starting to come out right before lockdown when people were rushing to stock up on food, I went to Target, Walmart, like every single grocery store out there and I stocked up on canned goods like beans and like just so much. I feel like that's part of the reason why my pantry is so flooded as well is when everyone was stocking up on food, I did stock up on a lot of dry goods, just pantry goods, and it's it's caught, it's caught up to me now. We don't really eat spam in our house, but this isn't actually spam. Maybe I shouldn't be showing this on the internet, but it's actually a fake spam that you can hide stuff in. I haven't actually hid anything in here, but my mom, I think like two or three Christmases ago, got my brothers and I all something like this that we can put in our pantry to blend in. And it's, you're supposed to just put cash, valuables. I don't, I don't know, obviously I haven't done it, but you're supposed to be able to hide stuff in here, which now I'm, I'm telling everyone. So nothing will ever be hidden in here, but I'm keeping it just because I liked it. I thought it was a cool gift. She actually got us a chicken noodle soup one too. If I can find where she got this online, I will have it linked below along with anything else I mention in a positive light in this video. This might be dangerous. That's really old. I'm not doing that. That's the only time I'm Dude, it's stuck in my teeth now. If I can't find the expiration date and I have zero clue when the last time I took a bite out of the bag was, I'm just throwing it. I'm just gonna assume it's way beyond expiration. Ugh. If you like soda or pop, whatever you call it, and you are trying to be healthier, trying to reduce your soda intake, I recommend this kombucha. It's flavored like Dr. Pepper. Obviously, it doesn't taste exactly like Dr. Pepper, but it tastes similar enough for me that I drink this now instead of drinking Dr. Pepper. And it's only 35 calories in a single bottle, eight grams of sugar, and it's got all, all the probiotics and stuff that you need for a healthy gut. All right, let's keep going. Random, quick little story time. Once upon a time, when my twins were like two-ish years old, they loved beet juice. They wanted to drink it all the time. They thought it tasted so good. And so we would give them like little bits of beet juice here and there because they liked it so much and it is really healthy. And then one fateful night, I had given them beet juice with their dinner and they were happy as clams. We were upstairs getting ready for bed and I'm reading the story. My son Silas is like going crazy in the corner, just like messing around doing like whatever two year olds do. And all of a sudden he comes over to me and he goes, chocolate. He's trying to say chocolate and he shoves his hand in my mouth and all of a sudden I realize he put poop in my mouth. I like look at him in disgust and he must have put it in his own mouth too because all of a sudden he like just had this look of fear and horror in his eyes because it was obviously not chocolate that we each had in our mouths and all of a sudden he starts just spewing the throw up and because he ate the beet juice the throw up was vibrant like blood like red and it was we got new carpeting we we have new carpeting now we don't have that little blood red stain anymore i don't think i have a picture of it but anyways i'm keeping this beet juice nonetheless <laughs> because it is healthy and he knows not to eat poop now my husband does keto and he gets all these 
like keto candies. He really likes them. I think they taste like trash, but he loves them. That's everything on this table. Now we just gotta go to the island and let's keep going. All right, I have a basket specifically for all my baked goods because I, I do a decent amount of baking. That's one of the things I do for funsies when I'm at home. I definitely still use real sugar often, but I like to sub some of it with this Swerve replacement sugar. This is brown sugar. They also have like regular granulated sugar replacement, but sometimes I do like a 50-50 split between real sugar and the swerve sugar, or sometimes it's only 25% swerve sugar, but it's just a way to reduce the total amount of sugar in my baking without drastically changing the flavor. This is my husband's date, but these are also really good in smoothies. If you ever make like a chocolate type smoothie, you can mix some dates in there and it's a little bit healthier and it kind of still has a chocolatey-ish flavor. We're all about like subbing in healthier things into less healthy foods so that we can still enjoy life. More seeds, seeds, nuts. That's like my husband's a freaking gerbil. These are donate, and my donate, my first donate bin is plum full. So I'm gonna get another one and start filling that one. This is not necessarily healthy, like at all. <laughs> It's this lemonillo ramen. I got it at the Asian food store, but it's really good. And if I if I just need a quick meal for myself, I feel like this is the stepped up adult version of a cup of noodles that I really like. We are like making good progress. Look, maybe like a third to a fourth of the of the island is clear. This truffle porcini and cream sauce is so good. I've only ever seen it at Whole Foods, but it tastes amazing. If you like truffle oil, it's the best marinara sauce. My kids love it too, but it's really expensive, so I usually reserve it for me. This is my kid's favorite mac and cheese. It's just the Annie's classic cheddar mac and cheese. My husband for a while was buying like all these random, I think we've probably eaten through most of them, but all these random mac and cheeses. This one is a vegan mac. I'm gonna donate it because my kids don't like it. They, they only like this Annie's one. So any other mac and cheese other than the Annie's, I'm just donating. I filled up this absolutely massive bag. Ugh. At this point, I have run out of room in all of my keep bins, and so I had to just take a bunch of stuff out, stick it into the pantry just to make room so I could keep working through the Sparks Joy keep process. And I'm not putting it in with any rhyme or reason. I'm literally just trying to clear bins right now so I can keep going. This is why I have been enjoying decluttering because I hate wasting money. I'm buying more than I need and stuff expires or I just don't use it and that's just a waste of money. Might as well just like start a fire in my backyard and just throw money in it and then I wouldn't have to declutter it. It would just burn away, it'd be easier. I've shifted over here now, let's keep going. I don't want this to come crashing down because this is full of heavy cans. Ugh. My husband uses this. Nutritional yeast, I don't know if anyone else uses this, but he sprinkles it on some of his food. He is like a health fanatic. It's kind of a little bit too much for me, but th this is his. Sadly, we do not eat hamburger helper anymore, so this is donate.
This is a really good snack bar for moms. I throw one or two into my diaper bag and when we're out and about, if I get hungry, this is what I go for. This is dark chocolate almond flavor, zone perfect bar, but 12 grams of protein, vitamins, minerals in it, and it's just an easy, easy one-handed snack <laughs> for mom. So again, in the realm of our family tries to eat healthy-ish, so we find substitutes to traditionally not super duper healthy stuff, and these are two things we really like. These mung bean noodles that we get at Whole Foods, and they're so much healthier than regular standard flour noodles. They kind of taste like pea noodles, but they're 16 grams of fiber, 22 grams of protein. They're like superfood pasta noodles, and my kids actually like them. So I make this with green pesto sauce on it. My husband and I like it too. I personally prefer these red lentil penne noodles. You can get them at Walmart, Target, but it's just made with red lentils, and it is 13 grams of protein in a two ounce serving with six grams of fiber. So it's very, healthy as well. And to me, these taste more like regular noodles than the green mung bean ones do. I'm gonna leave these ones out because we buy so many of these that these are going to go into clear storage containers. We have these rice dreams. This was another thing when we didn't know what it really was, but everything was just about to shut down. I bought a whole bunch of these rice streams because you don't have to keep them refrigerated. And just in case we, you know, worst case scenario, we were going to be trapped in our house, unable to leave for an extended period of time. I got these because it was, it was a milk option that my kids could drink. I should have done a video, a grocery haul video when everything was, was going crazy in 2020. Cause I think that would have been interesting to show like everything that I stocked up on. Kodiak cake stuff. I got, I think I got all these at Walmart. They actually just came out with this protein packed crunchy granola bars, oats and honey flavor. So I got these as a snack for myself and my kids to throw in the diaper bag. Okay, this is all, this entire basket is all more nuts. My husband has an obsession. I don't think he can eat all these. We got some liquid IV. <laughs> This is really good if you have a hangover. I don't know how old y'all are, but I am not like a 21 year old spring chicken anymore. So on the very rare occasion that I go out and I have a little drink, it affects me a lot more than it did a decade ago. So if you get home and you drink some liquid IV or Gatorade or whatever, like this liquid IV was sent to me for free, so I've just been using this, but it works to prevent hangovers. Or if you wake up the next morning, it helps relieve a hangover quicker. Oh, whoopsies. More keto candy. I'm gonna need a freaking basket just for all my husband's keto candy. We're almost done. Oh, this is an exciting one. <laughs> For anyone who is gluten-free out there, I know you will love this, but Red Lobster recently came out with these Cheddar Bay Biscuit mixes that are gluten-free. I got this I got this one at Walmart. And you just add water and some shredded cheddar. I haven't I have yet to try this one yet, but I have a feeling no matter what it'll be good. It's a Cheddar Bay Biscuit. It's hard to screw up. We're done, oh my gosh. Okay, let me show you how much we have in the donate bin and then what I need to figure out for the organization portion, which my mind is already like going crazy right now thinking about how am I gonna organize all this? We shall see. This is everything I've got to take to the food bank. It doesn't look like that much, but I have my third row seats popped up. So like this goes deep. There's all those at the bottom there, all the way up. And there's the big first bag I filled and the big next bag. So there's a lot to donate here. Then we have these keep bins here, as well as the, the little bit that's up here that's all keep. And then we have what I just like threw in here quickly as keep. 
Okay, now for the hardest part. I am going to try to make my pantry look like a professionally organized pantry. I got a lot of different items to help me through this from a lot of different stores. I first have this label maker that I got off of Amazon. And again, everything is going to be linked below, but it looked like all the professionals had everything nicely labeled. And so I'm going to do the same with this. I got these spinning organizers. I have three of them to put into the corner of my of my pantries where things kind of get lost because it goes so far deep. I have a bunch of these white baskets from the brand Room Essentials, I believe. Yeah, Room Essentials at Target. I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to use these, but I got these by the brand Made by Design from Target. They are expandable and, oh, they're zip tied together, but once they're not zip tied together, they're expandable, sheared levels so that you can see the items further back. And then I got this large bin to put in the bottom as kind of an overflow bin. Unfortunately, Target, I don't know if they're getting rid potentially of these Y-shaped ones or if they're just introducing also a waved one, but I wasn't able to find the big bin and the Y-shaped one. Otherwise, I would have gotten that for consistency, but I got this wavy one instead. I got just all of these clear storage containers from Walmart from their Better Homes and Garden brand. They're very similar to the OXO ones that Khloe Kardashian has in her pantry, but instead of having the pop top, it has this flip top, which I actually think is nice because once you flip it up, you have a handle to hold on to. And then when you're done, you flip it shut and it is like fully vacuum sealed shut. Like you could shake things around in it, nothing would happen. So I thought these were really cool. I got a whole bunch of these and a bunch of different sizes so I can kind of figure out what works best in my pantry. I got this three pack container. It has a big one, a medium one, and then like a short little stout one. <laughs> Oh my gosh, do you see that? The tall one like is a literal perfect fit, maximizes just like the space and use. And then you can put that one there, does this fit? <gasps> and this one fits perfectly on top. So this is the three pack that I just used. And then this is the four pack that I got to test out. So the three pack, it it's a longer this way than these ones. These are more square. So this utilizes the full shelf space. And with the shorter ones, I can stack them like you see here. Whereas the four pack, I, I'm probably gonna return these because none of these, the two shorter ones, they don't stack. They're, they're just too tall and it, it takes up a lot more space without utilizing this back space here. Everything is washed and dried. So now I can start filling these containers with the items that I want in them. Now I just have to make a label for this. Nicely labeled lentil noodles. <laughs> lot of this organic cocoa for my baking. So I'm just gonna put them in one of these little shorts, guys. I did splurge on four OXO cereal dispensers just because the Better Homes and Garden brand didn't have this easy pour push to open spout that I thought was really cool. I'm basically only putting things in these containers if I know it's something I always consistently have in my cabinet. There's actually probably gonna be quite a lot that ends up not being in one of these clear storage containers because we do like to try new foods fairly often and we may not ever repurchase it or we may not carry it consistently. But anything that I know for a fact that we should always have in our pantry, I'm putting in one of these clear containers. And it'll be easier to see when we need refills on stuff, which is the other reason I like these containers. Next, we have flour. We often use whole wheat flour. 
I often use whole wheat flour when it comes to baking. I do a blend of half traditional, like bleached white flour and then half whole wheat flour just because whole wheat flour is healthier. The square bins are honestly probably nicer for things like flour compared to these, these thinner, longer ones, but these just make so much more sense for the dimensions of my pantry. And they still fit like one bag of this. It looks like it'll fit pretty much perfectly. So quick little update. Unfortunately, my local Walmart doesn't have any more of the specific size of these containers that I need. I will get to it in this video. I'm just gonna have to go to a different Walmart and pick them up quick. So at this point, I'm going to place everything kind of in the vicinity of where I want it to live, but it's not gonna look all neat and tidy yet. I'm just getting everything where I want it to be, and then I'll kind of strategize on how to make it look the nicest. Oh, there's a lot of stuff. Okay, I'm gonna focus on snack bins first. My husband's snack bin and my kid's snack bin. This is all my husband's like weird little snacks that only he eats. So he has his own section he can go to if he needs anything. More nuts, all of this is nuts. We're gonna have like a whole freaking just tier of nuts. I'm gonna put all my like baking mixes that need to stay in boxes like this all on the same shelf. It's all gonna go right here, just like in a line so that you can see everything. Then the entire bottom row is still designated can and jar central, and I'm just kind of placing everything in the vicinity of where I want it to go. What I'm gonna do is basically, I'm taking all of this candy, and instead of having it in all these like weird opened bags when they're individually wrapped, like this so he can easily see what a specific thing is based on its little wrapper. I'm just gonna dump all of his candies into here so it's not like these ugly half torn bags everywhere. These pistachios, he has a full one so I put it in back and then the one he's already broken into is in front. So once he finishes that, he can see that he has the full one behind it. Still has like, more nuts right here. I'm just gonna fill this bin with the remainder of the nuts. Okay, if I look tired, it's because I am very tired. I'm in yesterday's leftover makeup. It's the next day. Basically, what happened after you last saw me is the kids came home, you know, it's just a hustle and bustle. Once they were in bed, I decided to go to Walmart to try to get more of these storage containers because I had run out of the ones that I wanted. Long story short, I ended up going to four different Walmarts last night trying to find the three pack that had the medium sized one, the tall one, and the little one that stacks perfectly onto the medium one, and no Walmarts carried it anymore. Even when I went online and it said that they would maybe have it, but it was unknown, I still went to that one because I was so desperate to get that three pack and none of them had it. So I just got more of the medium and tall ones that are individually sold now, and now we can complete this. Oh, and the other thing I did yesterday is the few containers that I did have, I filled them with the other flowers and baking ingredients, and I put those in the pantry, but for the remainder of the day, I, I don't have time to do, like, redo my full face, and I ended up just passing out with my full face of makeup on. Um, for the skincare junkies, I'm sorry. I know you're, like, just cringing right right now at the sound of that, but I'm just, I need to get this done. And I only have two hours to get this done, so let's keep going. Oh, and one other thing that I got at Walmart, it's still from the Better Homes and Gardens, but they had, they said it was like seasoning containers, a three pack that included one of these larger ones and then two of these little ones. And they're still airtight. They have a big spout so that you can put measuring spoons in there or they have the little shaker side. But I thought these were really cool substitutes for the little containers since they didn't have the larger little containers that I really wanted. I 
I think this is as much as I'm going to do when it comes to using these containers in addition to what I already have in my pantry. So let's get it in the pantry, get everything organized, and we're so close. This is what I got done last night. And then let's put in what I just now that everything is pretty much where I want it, I'm going to start making everything look pretty and putting it into bins. This bin is going to be dedicated to our juice boxes. I love these happy waters. They're just naturally flavored waters, zero sugar. And then I also like Honest Company juice boxes, so we're adding that as well. I'm finally utilizing some of the smaller bins I have for just little snacks. This is going to be our applesauce bin, and then I'm going to have a separate bin for our snack bars, and I'm just going to have everything categorized out in their own little bins to make it easy. Have lots of rice. I mean, chicken rice aroni is like crack. I, it's not the healthiest, but it tastes amazing. All right, now I'm just trying to organize what's on the floor because I don't, I don't know if you can see it, but I have food all surrounding me. A lot of it is overflow stuff, so right now I'm just focusing on keeping the overflow organized. This bottom shelf is basically canned central. Maybe what I'll do is any soup related items or just like ready to go items, I'm gonna put on the Lazy Susan. And then anything that is basically an ingredient for something bigger like just crushed tomatoes that you don't just eat on its own, those will stay on the tiers. But ready to go items will be on the Lazy Susan. I think that is all the soup. So we still have room on this. The other thing that I guess is considered ready to go, kind of, is any of these pasta sauces. Now for my ingredient cans, I'm putting all my coconut milks on the left and all my chili or taco night ingredients on the right. Even though this canned fish is in a can, so it seems like it should go on canned row, I'm gonna set it up next to my husband's stuff because he's the only one who eats this and I want him to know that it exists and doesn't just like keep buying it while this sits and rots. Okay, we got a good amount of room here. If I, if I needed to get more, which I don't really need anything right now, we have this whole bottom shelf available. And actually, I'm gonna stick my curry right here. Next, we gotta figure out this stuff up top. This like is trickier for me because my I have these extra cereal containers and I have this extra super large one that we used in the past. We keep our rice and our honey bunches of oats, which we go through really quickly in these bigger containers. Even though they don't really match with the aesthetic of the pantry, I'm still gonna keep them. I don't know, let me know in the comments below. Do you think I should put snacks in like these cereal containers. I don't feel like they're big enough for the snacks because we go through these pretty quickly, but with the way everything else is looking, I feel like these giant Costco size bags of snacks, they just look kind of like an eyesore now. So comment below, how do you think I should organize these in my pantry? I have another turntable slash Lazy Susan up top, and this is actually a smaller one. I got this one at Target. You probably can't tell, but this one and has shorter shelves than all of these bottom ones. These larger turntables fit perfectly here, but it would stick out pretty substantially up top. So this 15 inch one from Target fits perfect. Yeah, let me know what you think should go on this turntable. I'm, I'm very confused at this top kind of miscellaneous row and what to do with it. We made it to the end, you guys. Here is a quick little reminder of where we started and where we are now. Here is a final look at everything. Oh my gosh, it is so beautiful. Got all the cans down 
down here. The overflow area is even organized. And just in case I end up needing extra baskets around here, if you can tell, I have the extra baskets down there as well that I can utilize later if I want to. My baked goods look beautiful here. And then I got a little basket here for just like the small miscellaneous chocolates and, and sugars. I have the noodles that we eat most often and rice over here. All of my husband's snacks, well, all of his random little candies are in here. We have just like a variety of snacks in here, nuts and stuff. And then you can see all of his other options on here with his, I don't know, his canned fish. <laughs> We have the ready to go baking stuff and oatmeal over here. As you just saw, the, the top the top shelf is very miscellaneous. Oh, I think I skipped over this, but we have kid row of snacks here. Well, and I eat these a lot too, so. Kids and mommy snacks. We have just extra cooking supplies here. Oh, and then I never really organized it, unless you have ideas on how I can really organize it, but I have all my spices on my spice rack on this side. I hope this video inspired you to declutter and organize your own pantry. I mean, it was a very long, arduous process that spanned me two days now, but I am so happy with the end result. I'm about to go like FaceTime my mom and show off the new pantry. I'm so excited for my kids to see it too, even though they probably won't care. I am just so elated right now, but I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to check out some of my other videos. I will have my decluttering and clean with me playlist floating somewhere over my face with some other playlists, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.